wild video we show up to the track we're like yeah we're gonna test it's like rick we're out here scott couldn't make it scotty ray was supposed to meet us out here russell was coming out here kevin from tkm's out here bunch of people out here gonna be a great day of testing going racing next saturday at piedmont following week we're going to um go lot so like a lot of stuff going on spent lots of time on this myself scott went over this thing tediously with a fine tooth comb. I don't think I've ever had a car so prepared to go to the track. Uh, Scott, big shout to Scott because he spent a lot of time on this just going over everything so meticulously front to back, head to toe, because the races are won and testing successfully is all done at the shop. You get all your work done at the shop, you put in all the time and the effort at the shop, you come here and you get to reap the benefits of it. We get the car loaded up last night, left the shop 6.30, right on schedule, rolling down here, everything's loaded up. The whole crew, the team, everyone working great and super excited to get down here. And we go to pull the car out of the trailer and there's fluid on the lift. And I just cleaned the whole trailer in to out, just cleaned the lift off. So I'm like, well, it definitely came from this car. It wasn't oil, it's got a belly pan on it. Valve cover breather, it wasn't that. Um, because that was they were plugged up and I was like man maybe like the line blew out but still there shouldn't be that much fluid or anything and then you come over here and um, stuff on the header you're like what the hell is that so you get to doing some investigating if you pick this up right here you'll notice everything is wet hmm. the, Not strut, the, first time. the strut blew out it's a very expensive day to drive down here get nothing done so um, unfortunately this is part of racing again this is not a video talking bad about anyone this is the John Doc channel I'm it. John Doc I'm just telling you what's going on in my day and in my head and that's that's it if you don't like my opinion you can go out there and do this all yourself and formulate your own opinion but I can only tell you from the experiences that I have going on um, very very upsetting because again like I said we were trying to race this weekend um, this upcoming weekend so don't know if we're gonna be able to test during the week next week we have to go down to Florida to do something so it's gonna be a busy week doing other car stuff but not set aside to test so uh, maybe it's something where um, yeah I don't know I mean I don't know so we're gonna get these hopefully we'll get back to the shop and have time to get these off all these guys here here everyone smile at the camera everyone smile at the camera and smile at the camera he can he's working hard yeah yeah, it's just, it is what it is sometimes. So we're gonna watch some racing. We're gonna give, give you guys, some people making some test rips. I'm gonna eat some chicken salad from uh, Bucky's because that's the best thing they have there. And uh, we're gonna load up and go home. I'm sorry, 
I know we haven't done a lot of racing. Really, since October, we've done no racing. So six months on the John Doc channel of daily videos with no racing. That's a lot of videos not racing. We like to be racing at least two to three days a week. Would you agree with that? So we're trying to get it stirred up. Logan, what do you, yeah, I know you got to tell them something. We're going to catch a little bit of testing here and then go back to Galat. Watch a little bit there, maybe. What do they got? I, I oh, mean, they got testing at Galat? Yeah, I mean, I ain't really trying to go back to work, you know? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So, yeah. All right. Later. Back at the shop, instantly put it up on the lift, taking it apart. Not really bad taking it apart, but it's just the inconvenience. You can tell us this this shock is leaking by the amount of fluid. That's not good. Also concerning, right? Let me just wipe my little fingers off here. Also concerning, this one here is. I don't know if you can tell, it's shiny. It is, uh, there's definitely some fluid coming out of it. So we're gonna take them both and send them up there and see what's going on with that because that is not ideal by any means. Uh, no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. I know the car looks the same, but we actually took the struts off, took them up to Menser. They got me right in, they looked at it, kind of crazy. So when we got these shocks, took them up there to get them redone, the shafts were bent. So when we first got the car, took the front end off, took the struts up there, they put new shafts in them because the shafts were bent. We redid the front end, everything's great on the front end, the position is great. After that, while still at the shop, we had this shock blow out. Same thing right up top here, the seal went out. We took just this strut up to Mentor. They put the new style seal in it. This one here had the old style seal in it that had this issue where the seal would roll over on itself. Well, that's what happened. So to answer a lot of questions, no, um, I don't, I don't know. It's There's a big discussion right now, especially on Facebook with my post about running a bladder, putting the car on blocks, doing this or that. Uh, the guys up at Mentor said you can do that or you can just set the rebound all the way loose. Uh, when you transport the car, is it excessive wear? I don't know. I know guys that ride their damn shocks. I mean, the, the, it's a street car and they drive it on the street. The shock is meant to go up and down. It's a shock absorber. So um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a controversial topic. Do you guys run bladders? Do you guys run blocks? I strapped the car down from the chassis, not the tire. So... When I strap the car down, I cinch down on it. It pulls it pretty tight. The trailers that we have, they ride pretty smooth. They're, they're pretty nice trailers. Uh, they got torsion axles in them, so it's not like it's a super bouncy ride. Uh, I know this because I've ridden in the back of them. It's really not bad. Um, I don't know. So we got the car all back together. Uh, Menser went through both shocks, both struts. They put the new style seals in both of them. This one already had it. They put one in the other one, and we should be good to go. So we're going to be going to the track uh, Piedmont this Saturday for the Caroline No Time, and we're just going to go down there and shake it down. Uh, Scott will be out there. Scotty Ray will be out there. Russ will be out there. Kevin from TCAM will be out there. Uh, all the guys will be out there, and it is exciting. So that's what we really have planned. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everyone watching and supporting. Uh, listen, I'm trying to race. I know it's been a while since we've raced, but we plan on racing for the next, you know, two or three weeks in a row and uh, just trying to uh, to make a lick, you know, and go out there and, and win some and do good and just get better and be consistent. That's the goal for this year. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget this Friday, I'm wearing the new Slick Rick shirt. This is unreleased yet. You guys haven't seen it. Hey, Dave.
Dave, hold the camera. They got to see this new shirt. This is the brand new Slick Rick shirt. This shirt is fire, Dave. Is, is this the best shirt we've ever made? I still like the American flag nasty racing shirt personally, but well, that yeah, I mean, uh, car, related car related shirt. Related? Yes. No, this one we even threw my signature up there. That's yeah. per Chris. I, Chris made us do that. Yeah. So I do like the uh, that black sheep shirt too, with the black sheep like actually making a pass with the record on it. Yeah, I, that was, See, a, I, that was a banger. We have some banger shirts, but Slick Rick we, no, back in the good. '80s vibe. The color is it's a badass shirt. Yeah, it is. Uh, this will be up on the website on Friday, and Friday from noon on. Every dollar you spend gets you entered to win our Buick Grand National with all the turbo upgrades and all that fun stuff. You can either go to lsns.com or justinswanstromracing69.com. Sorry, not racing. Justinswanstrom69.com. And you guys can get uh, get entered to win. So either one. So you can pick out some of his shirts and some of mine, or you can go back and forth. Check it out.